Oh. What does it mean by collect the cards? Do we have to like fight a whole bunch of people or? I guess we can find out by going this way? Straight ahead? Is it just lying around somewhere? It's raining cows. Men not frogs, not cats and dogs, <laughs> but cows. What do you want? Wait. This is sort of just what exactly am I trying to look for here? Mm. Is it in here? There's a notice board. <laughs> There's still drunk people everywhere. The wine and all. Perfumery. Are you the one with a Gwen card? Do I have to play you? Whoa, a witcher. A serious client at last. Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle, Ganesha petals? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, we gotta play all these people then, huh? Well, not right now. We just did one game. How's business? Uh, the coin is good, but just between us, I'm going batty with boredom. I know what my customers want before they open their mouths. Bolt men, birch sap. Ladies of all walks, whatever fragrance Duchess Anarietta prefers at the time. If just once somebody would order some poison, eh? It's kind of a dark thought. <laughs> Show me what you've got in stock. Potion of restoration. It's not quite the poison he wanted to make. Formula. Oh. Well, I don't need any of this right now, unfortunately. For you. And you don't seem to sell any... Mandrake. Or do you? You do! Oh, I guess I should buy this, huh? Mahakaman Spirit? Redanian Herbal? Did we need that one as well? I forgot, but I'll just get it. Cherry Cordial? Cool, cool. Do you wanna, like, take my stuff? Not really. I don't have too much for you. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll be back for you, for the Gwent, but not today. Need to get going. Till next time. By the way, I wonder if there's, like, a barber somewhere in Tucson? Kind of want to shave off my beard, just to uh, look a little bit cleaner here. Plus, I want to see if they got new hairstyles. In accordance with Article 161 of the Ducal Code. Oh, arrest warrant. The Attorney General for the City of Beauclair has designated a reward to be given to whomsoever shall bring before the court one Loth, son of Mark, alias Halfbreed, or else provide proof of his passing. must be a terribly barbaric land. Ooh. Dead or alive. If we look on the map here, we have a blacksmith, armorer, maybe? Whoa, this place is huge. This is massive. You know what? Let's just kind of truck along and we'll get back to Guillaume, okay? I still want to get back to Corvo Bianco and just check out what the place is like. Of Look at this though, clean streets, everything's all clean and proper. Knight's Dormant Square. I'm not your mon ami, mon ami. No tip off the glass, good fellow. Wow, wow, people just sitting around here reading books and all. They are uh, rich. What about you? How are things? Even the guardsman looks fancier than normal. Oh! <laughs> What's with these murals? Skeletons? That's kind of scary. Uh, if I want to go that way... Oh, frick, if I fall down here, will I die? 
No, I can just take the stairs here. No need. One, two, three. Ready or no? Someone playing hide and seek? Never have you seen such a tournament, for such a tournament's never been held! All lovers of Gwent are invited to come compete against players from all over the world. In addition, this tournament shall be your chance to play the new and exciting Skilling of Faction! Count Monier will be expecting you at the Pheasantry! They are really hyping this up. Cooper's Gate. So is this whole place considered Beauclair then? Mm hmm this big town here. I'm guessing it has multiple fast travel markers. Cooper's Gate. Experts know the secret to Toussaint wine lies not in the vines of its hills, but in the oaks of its forests. So desirable are the barrels made from this wood. It seemed the loggers would cut the duchy clear until protests from angry druids stopped them. After years of negotiations, a compromise was reached and a special organization, the Cooper's Guild was created. Thanks to its strict supervision of the industry, logging became sustainable, and it became the richest guild in the city, as evinced by the proud gate it funded. Ooh, dang. Gwent? Two guys here for Gwent? Like I said, though, today, uh, let's check on Guillaume. Guy must not be feeling too good, since I kind of made him look bad twice. First with the giants, and now with, um... Shalmar, or whatever that was. Oh, what was that? I think we've heard that name before, right? In the main game, or in Hearts of Stone? But we never fought one. It's a relict. Shalmar from the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Gladiator fights in massive arenas are a popular form of entertainment in Nilfgaard. Usually the fighters are slaves specially trained for this purpose, yet at times, the arena masters pit humans against monsters. The Shalmar Geralt had to fight in the tourney grounds, was a present from the Emperor to his relative, Duchess Anna Henrietta. It had been caught while young, and prepared for its ultimate purpose by Nilfgaardian trainers. That does not mean it was tame, however. In fact, its wildness and inborn ferocity had not been dulled one whit. Like all creatures of its species, it was blind, but could unerringly pinpoint its opponent's location using echolocation. The Shalmar had thick armor and near-impenetrable skin, it could also roll into a ball and charge its opponents. Its underbelly, however, was relatively vulnerable and became exposed when its charge failed. In the end, though, the fight was long and difficult. Geralt defeated... Though the fight was long and difficult, Geralt defeated the Shalmar and, when the Duchess called from the stands for him to finish the beast off, he refused to kill the creature, not wanting to take a life merely to amuse a crowd. Oh, it's like a special one, huh? The coloring's a little bit different. Samum Relict Ard? The Earth's innards are home to mighty strange and fearsome beasts. Were they ever to decide to ramble up to the surface, we'd all be gutted the very first day of the invasion. Shalmar spend most of their lives deep underground, having no contact with the world up above. At times, however, a Shalmar will dig its way to the surface and devour any men within its reach. Some Shalmar also burrow tunnels close to the surface, collapsing buildings and causing tremors in the process. Since Shalmars are blind, they find their way by sensing the vibrations and listening for sounds. Thus, the best tactic when fighting such a monster is to hurl something heavy or noisy against a nearby boulder or wall. Then pray silently that the beast will roll towards the sound and knock itself out upon striking into the obstacle. Not really quite an option for us though, huh? Tourney Grounds. I swear Rainfall? On my honor, I shall smash the plunderers, scatter them to the winds, and drive them from our duchy. Yes, sir. So many people have names. What are you doing? Greetings. Ooh. Yes, friend. These are just random people, I guess. Tents because they can't fit into the main city? There's no war going on here, though, right? Oh, even the water looks cleaner. Or... Does it? It certainly looks more beautiful. It looks more vibrant than anything we've seen in Velen. Have you heard? Some madmans be running about the docks. 
waving his bare noodle at the merchants. I heard about that. Oh my. We're back here again. I wish you help. And the tent is right here. Which it? I have a matter of prime urgency and import. I must speak to you. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. The lady that was next to Anna Henrietta? What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. What? Trickery? <laughs> even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. <laughs> she consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. <laughs> I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Are you sure she's not just avoiding you because you're being a mega creep? <laughs> sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wanted to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. She's some kind of beast? Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady-in-waiting. Her mother was a lady-in-waiting, her father a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named the tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. This tourney, how's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize, and more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. 
Well, you sound noble, I guess. Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. Fee can't be anything ordinary either. I'm no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Oh, nonsense. You guys are all knights here, right? Be willing to part with your coin. Vivian is worth every copper, <laughs> but this amount I simply do not have. You ask too much. I don't think this guy is a high-ranking knight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to negotiate here, but really, between 500 and 680, it's like 180 crowns difference. It's not that much. I have comrades I can ask. They would surely lend me coin, yet even that would not be enough. Could you not lower your fee somewhat? Okay, buddy. How about that? Agreed. That is an amount I can indeed muster. Is 30 orans, 30 crowns, really the difference between breaking the bank and not? Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Fair Besides, enough. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Fair enough, fair enough. Mm. Marksmanship. Feel a need to do some shooting. Why not? Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. <laughs> One, two, three. Ready or not, here I come. Oh. No magical beings are prosecuted into sand, right? Witches, sorceresses, vampires? Because I'm assuming that Regis pretty much fits in without anyone Look, knowing he's a vampire. Fox Hollow, boxing, so? the soul survived. You don't say. So because of that, I feel like the chances of us finding humanoid monsters here are quite high. Hit the red targets. It's raining cows okay. in the Ardais quarry. Not frogs, not cats and dogs, but cows. Oh. I don't want to get the white one though, right? We good? Once more? Okay, sure. Glad they give it another try. He's nervous. He doesn't really know what it's like, what I'm like. And he wants to make sure that I'll be okay. So fine, fine, I'll ease your worries. Oh, you saw that I killed the giant and the Shalmar, so at the minimum, I'm better than you. In fighting, at least. Once more? Are you pulling my leg? <laughs> Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Okay. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. Come with me. You should know I'm basically the racing champion in all of Temeria. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Okay. Take good care of yourself. This place is so populated. Even the fast travel sign looks more fancy than the other places. It's like they're in permanent festivities mode. Ceased to succor our ancient tradition! 
hands. Baseness reigns where virtue what? once ruled. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! The way the lady said "based." You were to polish my sword, but but I did. All night I spent rubbing it, sharpening it, oiling it. On the fuller, a rust stain. On the point, the prints of your greasy fingers. You will pay for this after the tourney. There are a lot of knights here, huh? I wonder if there is any female knights. I don't know if Tucson. I think Tucson would be okay with that kind of thing since they have a uh, female duchess and all. As opposed to a male duchess, of course. <laughs> Lord. Is that the Lannister lion? <laughs> there was a time the knights would simply drive off that sort of rapper. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite the challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. What? The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now, you may ride unperturbed by those matters. So maybe we can't ride too fast then, huh? Mounted combat. Holding down an attack button will trigger a slow motion mode, which makes it easier for you to strike your target. Geralt will decide for himself which side to attack from based on your enemy's location. Mounted marksmanship. Holding down the aim button will trigger a slow motion mode. While this mode is active, Roach will maintain her speed, so you do not need to hold down the gallop button. Uh... Okay, sure. Which way am I going? This way? Okay. I gotta get this guy here. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh no! Oh no! Uh... Am I supposed to be able to hit this, or...? Oh my gosh, okay, that's kinda hard. That actually is kinda hard. We don't have to hit the targets, but they grant extra points. Okay, that time you did better. And they give us extra time. Which is something we need, huh? Okay, this one's slightly better. Easier. By a teeny teeny margin. Ooh, I feel like this one might be one that I want to practice again. This, this is... Ooh! Yikes! Is all I can say. So, have you had enough? Or do you wish to ride again? Um... Maybe I'll give it one more go. No harm in going again. Practice makes perfect, even for witchers. This was a practice track, right? So the real one will be much longer, too. My god. Let's go! Can I go full speed and hope to get the mannequin at the same time? Okay, it worked that time, because we kind of got what we were trying to do here, but... Not every single time is gonna be like that, huh? I wonder though, if I miss, is it better for me to go back or should I just move on? Did someone just yell for me? Uh, the thing that didn't fall. That's still okay, I guess. Nope. Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. Yeah, well, we did significantly better this time, but didn't get to use Roach's stamina at all. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? 
Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Come with me. So that sounds like somebody who will try to keep you a distance. Team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Yeah. Yeah. It is nice that you are willing to give up the whole fighting and all, just um, make sure she's okay. That is a lot of people. Mm. Oh, witcher? Where have you you there was a lady crying here last time, huh? But oh. you must know I mm. embarked on a quest of road? true wonder. He drank himself a horde of challenges awaits. This sounds compelling. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. With my old geared sword? Why not? By my troth, it is the witcher who saved us from woe. Oh. Do you wanna... I will stand and fight, but be warned, I do nothing halfway. Neither do the I. To do evil, I'll beat it out of you. Attack! Attack! Hey, this might be a nice sword to do the duel with, since it's got nice effects and all. Swish, swash, swish, swash! And I can bring in the Ophiri traditions <laughs> to this land here. Oh, I was gonna parry. Ooh. Oh, come on. Not doing it very well. Ooh! Oh, I lost. Do you wish to train more? Yes, please. Could probably use some more practice. Usually fight monsters, not knights. Which Horrible at parrying. I will stand and fight, but be warned, I do nothing halfway. Okay. Wounds. Attack! Attack! Ooh. I think for me, it's better to just dodge people, because I'm not a very good parrier. But then again, if I don't parry them, they don't let their guard down. Old Geared Sword does add a little bit of fun to this, though, because if we can activate the special skill, swish, 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 swish. we can knock people down entirely. I expected you to do well, but not that well. Thank you. Can I practice again? Could probably use some more practice. Usually fight monsters, not knights. Just come through. I can fight. I'll show oh, it's you. a different guy. This guy has an Albert. Quickly, from the Damn right. It. That might be good practice here, huh? Oh, these were all the people that we passed. Oh. Do you wish to train more? Oh, dang! These guys hit hard. Could probably use some more practice. Usually fight monsters, not knights. No, let me let me fight the halberd guy again, and I'll get out of here. For honor, sir, we shall cross swords if you'll allow it. Another different but guy. Just about enough of this toil. Another guy with a halberd. Go on, no remorse. Oh, can I even parry a halberd? It's like a big heavy weapon. Holy crap! Shut up and fight. Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? No, I'm good. I'm good. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. I don't know about that. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Are we doing this Witcher right now? Always with reason. Oh, I guess so. Hey, ho, hey, ho. I was planning on talking to you a little bit and then going to Corvo Bianco, but then 
You kind of dragged me into this tourney right away. That's okay, I guess. Inscription tent. Hey, there's a barber here. Yeah? A smashing place we have. Welcome, my good sir. Oh my god. Grooming. We have the same hairstyle. <laughs> oh, he plays Gwen's. He probably has a Skellige card. Just get a clean shave. Look a bit more youthful for the upcoming tourney. Maybe some lady will find it nice. Um... Are these all just the same haircuts again? I feel like it is, right? Yeah? Shaved on the sides, shot on top, and a ponytail. Have we had that before? I kind of like the one we have right now the most, though. Whoa! Okay, I really don't know about that. <laughs> uh, what was the one that we had before? Shaved head and ponytail? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm okay with this. <laughs> my time's up. So long. We magically regrew the hair that we just cut. We have the same cut though, basically. How my god. To enjoy an evening of fun with my jewels all pinched and that guy will eventually have to go back and play Gwent with him. I'm sure there's some new hairstyle somewhere, but I don't think that guy had any, right? Or maybe I just didn't know which one it was. Never you are. Hello? No, from the tourney scribe. The International Knights Tourney under the patronage of Lady Vivian de Tabri, 1275. Participants registered and qualified to take part in the contest. Greg Gregoire de Gorgon, winner of last year's tourney, he shall not participate in the general competition, but shall fight in the final bout against a knight who earns the most points. All signs seem to indicate Gregoire will defend his title. And and says and say Prince of Lyria and Rivia joining us for the third time in a row. Horm Ackerspock, Prince of Max, rumored to be of Emperor Emir's blood, here for his fourth tourney. Baron Palmerin de Lonfall, his sixth time in the tourney. Donimir of Troy, a Redanian knight, his first time in the tourney. Rainfarn of Atra, for the seventh time in the tourney, victor of the 1269 edition. Guy de Bois Guy de Bois. Fren Frain of Metina, a second cousin of Reynard de Bois Frain, one of her grace's knights errant, third time in the tourney. Oh my god, these French names are gonna kill me. Delwyn of Craigio, a young knight in the tourney for the first time. Tales of Dorndal, a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose, first time in the tourney. Linos, Linos of Metina, third time in the tourney. Guillaume de Lonfall, Baron de Palmerin's nephew, first time in the tourney. Later addendum. Due to injury, Guillaume has transferred his place in the tourney to another knight. Well, that's us. A return to traditional values and morals. That is the remedy for Toussaint's problems, not two swords. Hmm. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? Orphan. My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast Wait, of two what? crests. Which do you prefer? Oh, is that like my real... My real name? Or my real origin? Forhorn? Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. 
Mm. Yeah, those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. Good old times. Ravix of Forhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. But that's just an alias then, huh? Oh god, I thought he like dug up my origin or something before I became a witcher. But that's probably where the whole Law of Surprise thing was enacted, right? With Siri and all. With Pavetta, her mom. Sure, why not? We'll embrace it. The Honorable Ravix will do. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Why? Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena. Crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. Hmm, I'm most worried about the horse racing, but I'm also kind of worried about the dueling, because people hit really hard. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. Fancy. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Uh... What can I make a vow on? <laughs> Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? My lady's love. I'll swear on her illustrious highness's garter. Swear on the heron. Why not? I swear on her grace's illustrious garter to respect the chivalric virtues <laughs> and compete. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. A sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Oh, it's custom! Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck! Oh, then I won't get to use Ogier's sword. Of course, everybody has to use the same equipment. 
Whoa! What even is that crest? It's like a bear or a panther? Never catch me. Wow. Geralt, knight errand. Okay, well, let us begin. Ravix! Wanna play huh. blind man's bluff? Okay. Uh, Sorry. Fright and clans! Dox nipples! Get them while they're hot! Spiral pig's ears! Rent's tongues oh, on sale now! Come and get them! What are you gonna do with dog's nipples? What the heck? The archery, that's what I like. Maybe this year they'll pop off another onlook. Hello, fellow knights. Geralt, well I'll be. Have you decided to turn knight errant? All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Renfan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less. As if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of Quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. I suppose. Never turn down a round of Gwent. Fiztech is not just against the rules, but it's not very becoming of a knight, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the easy pickings here. <laughs> I'm so lazy to think for Gwent these days. But we're gonna have to collect all 19 cards for the Skellige deck, so don't worry, we're gonna have plenty of time to use the other ones. Okay, Commander's Horn, Gondo Dim, Blue Stripes, Prince Stennis, Crinfrid, Trebuchet, Trist, Catapult, Ezra Tyson, Geralt of Rivia. Mmm, maybe I'll take away blue stripes. Decoy? Not bad. Not bad, but is this all we really want? Gamble again with Crinfred? Oh! <laughs> oh well, I got blue stripes back. Well, it could be worse. Regis! That's right, that's his Gwen card, but I never really... It doesn't quite look like how he does now, huh? The hairstyle. He's got like mutton chops and stuff now. Impenetrable Fog, Mysterious Elf. Impenetrable Fog is for ranged. Okay. They've got a big groupie going on here. Elf. Another decoy. Oh, frick, man. Oh, I'm so lucky. I didn't use Gondro Odim this whole time, but I still didn't get another Gondro Odim card. But we got a medic here, so that's good. Should I use it now? Right now? Oh, if only I had Scorch. That would be so delicious. I feel like even using Gondro Dim might be a waste here, just because we know we're not gonna win this round. Should I just pass? He's got seven cards, I got twelve. This is for ranged. Yeah, let's just pass. That's fine. I'll save Gondro Dim for the next round here. Siri. But now we pretty much have to win. Oh, I guess we could have tried to bait him a little bit more with decoy cards, but it's not like I really got anything good for decoying either. Oh, how annoying. 15. 12. 16. That's okay, I guess. Scorch. Okay. Now in my graveyard. Hmm. My medic is not really gonna do anything good here, home. Huh? Geralt of Rivia. We pretty much have to throw down all our cards now, so I'll just have to hope that it's enough. Yorveth. How's that guy doing, I wonder? 
I miss Saskia. Oh! He's right here, too. Um... I mean, there's really not too much else for me to do here. Am I scared about Scorch? I can't use Scorch right now! Everyone's using heroes! I don't think I'll be able to use the Scorch card at all. Oh well. Oh, I should have put Triss down first. Dang, they have a lot of heroes too. I may have had a lot of cards, but a lot are stuff that I can't really use here. Decoy, Scorch, Impenetrable Fog. Ah! Ah! Okay, not a big deal because I have a medic here. Please, that's enough, alright? Dennis Cranmer. See, now I can't use my Scorch card. <laughs> oh, we should be okay. Bring back the trebuchet so we can use Commander's Horn. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. It's supposed to be a quick round anyway. So that Palmerin will switch with me? Yeah? But either way, it doesn't really matter for me, right? I congratulate you. We shall swap as agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Lady Fithian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. Will I make Palmerin lose by swapping? The marksmanship one is the one I'm most confident about, so I'm not really too worried here. I salute you! The honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize! You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them! Guillaume looks like a Disney prince. His golden curls. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Seraphics of Forhorn, give us a bow. Yay. The targets he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Likewise. I'm not even holding a freaking crossbow or anything. One. Two. Three. Brave Seraphix has hit over one half of his marks. Will he manage to prevail? Are these glories first sparks? Boom. Brevix. <laughs> Seraphix has won. His boat struck the goal. Yet even this cannot soothe the ache in his soul. That guy must get paid a lot. He's making up rhymes on the spot. Is he kind of like a court jester? A bard! Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. Oh, now I kind of wish I did the Rivia one. The Rivia crest. Oh well. Would you tell me about the other prizes? Alas, I cannot devote more time to you than to the other combatants. I have duties to attend to. Forgive me. My medallion's vibrating strongly can only mean one thing. Magic. Oh. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks.
Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. We're spying on her? Okay. Yeah, let's go now. I thought we were winning the tourney so we can get time to talk to her. But now we're spying too. This is her tent. You must look in sight. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oriole feather. Vivian keep a bird as a pet? Oh, fair. No fair. sign of it here, if so. Stuff's eyes within thy locks. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. Vivian's thy notes. Breasts are like. What are you muttering out there? <laughs> Keep watch, okay? Blade. Fan expenses. Cloth, dragon skin, racing saddle, magic cream. Dragon skin shoes? It seems like she's just buying stuff. Oriole feather. Oh. Vivian keep a bird as a pet? No sign of it here, if so. Airs and salts. Hmm. Used to make compresses. The mystery thickens. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Free wine for me. Anything out here or... Oh? Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic at work here. But what about that? Someone approaches, quickly! No! You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seek you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here! Oh no, we didn't get to look at the most important one, the claw marks.